Well, hi guys. I thought I'd take you guys along for the journey of me installing a flying extruder setup on my Delta printer that I've had for the last nine months. And welcome back guys. I'll insert a couple of pictures here of some previous setups that I've had in the past. So let's get on with it. Here's virtually all the pieces that I'm going to be needing to do this modification. It's not a lot. I cut up a shorter section of some Bowden tube for it instead of the 600mm long Bowden tube that I had in the past. And the extruder setup that I've gone with is a Titan extruder an E3D Titan Extruder clone of AliExpress, which I'll link below where I got it from, which seller. I've had a few of these for my other printers, and I had it on this before I did switch, before I sort of pulled it apart to try a flying extruder setup on it, on this printer itself. So let's get into putting together the Titan Extruder assembly. I've also got plans on putting a smaller stepper motor on, but on it, but this is all I've got at the moment. So yeah, I'll eventually get a pancake stepper for it to help reduce the weight um, within the print head of the printer. Just using the original bracket that was supplied that's 3D printed that came in the kit. And you can actually use flexible filaments with these extruders. I've played around printing with flexible filaments on this Delta. Um, depending on the situations, I can print flexibles up to 90 millimeters a second on this without having any issues. That's the complete assembly there. It's not really in focus that great, but yeah. It's got a four to one gear reduction on it and it works quite well. Putting through the lucky band so I can attach it to each of the carriages to help support some of the weight. Now it might not be the best way of doing it, but it's better than nothing really. And I'm just using what I've got lying around at the moment. And this just so happens to be it. Okay, so yeah, that's it with the lucky bands, nothing special because it's already got um, holes um, 
within the print for the mount that are supplied, so I'm just reutilizing it. So, yeah. So, I moved the bed plate so I can get into the control board. And I've changed it over to a smoothie board clone from the original 8-bit controller that was included within the kit and I've seen um, improvements within the print quality and also print speed that I can do with the printer ever since I've done the mods. The printer always sees any mods that I try out, this printer always is the first to receive it and then I sort of distribute it around to the other printers if I think it's good enough. to hold the lucky bands on, I'm just putting it around the end stop, the screws to adjust the end stop on it, and I've done it in the past and it seems to work pretty good, so I'll keep doing it, so that yeah, so you can mount it in there, and all I've got to do is tidy up the cabling and that's it. Well that's the flying extruder setup done. I'll leave you guys with a quick print that I did with it just to show you how it goes now. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more awesome content that I've got planned.